Welcome to Awaken Intuitive's Tarot. We are beginning with the Tarot of the Enchanted Garden. This is a general reading, not a personal private one, so just take what resonates. We're gonna pull four cards and possible guidance from some oracle, okay? Do we have, oh. I love this so much. Okay, we have four major arcanas. So this is a lot of big energy happening, a lot of changes, um, up, down, a lot of cycles completing and new beginnings. We have the Justice card. This is a number 11 of the Major Arcanas and it is ruled by Libra, okay? So Libra could be in your chart somewhere, it doesn't have to be. But Libra rules the seventh house of relationships, partnerships, balance, the scales, law, order, justice, karma, and clarity, cutting out nonsense or injustices to bring in truth and authenticity. Okay, so you are stepping into more of your authentic self, coming into alignment, coming into balance. Yes, I do feel this is connected to the eclipses, the lunar and the solar eclipses, okay? Bringing in truth, cutting out anything that is not keeping you balanced or getting you balanced, okay? Now we have the Lover's card, another Major Arcana. It's a number six of the Major Arcanas. So this one is ruled by Gemini. Gemini is also an air sign. So air is about the mind, mentality, thoughts, belief systems is crumbling, and we are stepping into, moving into an inner standing, a more higher perspective, air, um, expression and communication as well. Speaking your truth, standing up for your truth. The lover's card can be a relationship. We did get relationship here with the Libra, seventh house, but it can be partnerships, marriage, any kind of relationship. It can be a relationship with yourself, your inner world and your outer world, you and others. This is mainly a choice, a decision. It is free will for balance for clarity, harmony, and peace. Really important. Now we have the number 16 of the major arcanas, which is a seven, again, back to Libra, seventh house of relationships, bringing relationships into harmony, into balance and alignment, having clarity within those relationships. It can be with anything, okay? But this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is a crumbling of a faulty foundation. The foundation was unsteady, unstable, and it's gonna, and when you're still building onto that tower, your foundation and it's faulty, it will eventually crumble. And that is what's happening, cutting out faultiness injustices, imbalances to bring in a better, more solid foundation. It's inevitable change. It's going to happen. This is a cycle, a sudden transformation, a sudden event. Okay. So if it hasn't happened yet, which I do feel it has, but if it hasn't happened yet, it will. And it's quick. It's going to be happening quick. Okay. The cap off the tower is falling. So that reminds me of the mind again. So it reminds me of the belief systems. Uh, thought patterns. And now we have the Hermit card. So this is a number nine of the major arcanas. And Hermit is Virgo. Virgo is an earth sign and it rules the sixth house in astrology. We got the number six. Okay. And it's about health and wellness and boundaries and organization. So organizing, reorganizing, restructuring, reproducing, rehabilitating. Okay, the hermit is introspection. It's going within and doing the inner work. It's seeking the answers from within, seeking that inner wisdom, that inner light, so you can pull that out to step forward on your path ahead. So this is really important within relationships, belief systems, thought patterns, and letting go learning to let go. This is a choice, a decision of free will in letting go and just going with the flow, letting that faulty foundation crumble, 
doing that inner work, going within, finding those inner answers, getting higher perspectives to cut out anything that is unstable, unsteady, to bring in more balance and alignment and clarity, truth, the Lemurian star child oracle, still significant in some way. Can we, okay. I seen that one. We have the number nine card and we did get nine. So funny, we got seven, seven, we got six, six, and now we have nine, nine. So those numbers could be very significant somehow. You could be seeing them. Ninth house in astrology is ruled by Sagittarius, a fire sign. We had fire with the tower, tower moment happening. And it's all about faith and trust and surrender and higher learning, higher perspectives, higher education. But we have portals. So I feel like this is the portal within yourself, the portal within the heart, a centeredness, the portal of the truth. And uh, she's an elf, so this is like listening to the head. We have doorways into now. Letting go of the warrior. Oh my gosh, warrior or warrior. And it could be both. The category of wisdom, inner wisdom, seeking inner wisdom, your inner teacher. Collapse of the old paradigm. Remember, the collapse of the old paradigm, the old timeline, 3D. Old patterns of belief systems, programming, conditioning, thought patterns, ways of doing things, having relationships, blissful dimensions, blessings of today, and your truth. We have truth with justice, your authenticity. Sometimes we notice something is missing. Our hearts cannot find what they have been quietly looking for without us even noticing. Eventually, hearts get through to us and we follow the call to go within. There you go. Going within, introspection, inner seeker to the truth. Listening carefully, we can silently ask what it is that we long for. What yearnings have been trying to reveal themselves in quiet moments? What actually is it that we miss? Can we even define it? If we let ourselves feel these pangs, those ones we've been trying to ignore, and if we give them space to let them take on some form and welcome the pictures that begin to form of what feels lost, then we are suddenly a lot further towards getting there. The portals card reminds you to go within. Within you is a doorway, a way back to your true home, your source, and your light family. You walk through the portals, vortices of light that lead to other dimensions, into expanded dimensions to receive great healings. Portals to the old paradigm collapse in this process because they cannot be sustained in the higher vibration, the newer timeline, higher vibrational, 5D. Hermit, it's going within to find your own inner light, which is of source, and pulling that out to light the path ahead, revealing it's epiphany, awakening, revelations happening. Close your eyes and look within to the space of your heart chakra. Feel what your inner self is trying to tell you. Allow yourself to feel. It is in this feeling that the remedy can come to you. You are opening, opening to your home. The tower could be home, a foundation. Okay. That sacred place, a sweet, pure dimension in your light family is also calling back to you, bringing all the threads of you back to one place, one crossing point for all the reflections, reactions, and residues, as well as the inspirations, insights, and sparkling transcendences. Here in presence, they can all dance together, all are embraced and slowly they all catch the glow of the smiling heart of oneness within you. And you can allow the old to gently fall away like the petals of a once beautiful rose. So roses could be significant somehow. Star seed cards. Letting the old fall away, not fight. Inner worlds. Your external world is a reflection of your inner world. This is amazing. The balance of the yin yang, bringing in law, order, justice, the scales to balance out. That decision, choice, free will for a harmony, peace, balance. The reflection of your external world is with from the inner world. The foundation, the crumbling, whatever's on the outside, fire to the hermit, internal, okay? And then you have portals. Absolutely perfect, you guys, okay? So remember, this is a general reading, not a personal private one. 
So if you are interested in one, you can always reach out to me. My email's in the description below. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for your support. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. It helps so much with you guys liking and commenting. So thank you again and abundant love and light. So be it, so it is. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.